Hi, my name is Michael Vigila, and I'm here with Linda McCormick, and we're going to be talking about biohacking your body with Life Vantage. So a little bit about me. I was a musician and teacher for about 20 years, but I was always interested in health and wellness. And after I was oh, in my late 30s, I felt like I wanted to go into that field more full time. So I first became a licensed massage therapist and about 10 years later, a licensed acupuncturist. So I've been in this field now for over 20 years. And I also want you to know, I've been a full-time skeptic my whole life. And that's part of why I'm here, because I think it's healthy to be skeptical. But what this company showed me was really good evidence. And we're going to share that with you over the next hour as well. Also, just by way of some experience, uh, when I was a young music student in New York, when I was 18 years old, I wandered into a health food store in 1972. So I started my experiment with nutrition in um, when I was 18 years old. So I bring about 45 years of personal experiments on myself to this whole procedure. And I think it enhanced my perspective on this company. Thank you, Michael. And thank you to everyone that's listening to this today. I am Linda McCormick, and I am a certified colon hydrotherapist as well as a reflexologist. Now, part of the reason I do what I do and believe what I believe is I spent 20 years of my life in Asia as a missionary teacher. And so that began my journey on looking at integrative health, um, learning things overseas that I may not have learned or experienced here on this side of the pond. And so when Michael introduced me to what we're gonna talk about today, about seven years ago, I was truly grateful because it seemed to bridge um, the East and the West that I have uh, respect for. So let's do this. Um, we need to offer a disclaimer that Life Vantage does not claim to mitigate, treat, or cure any disease or any condition. So that said, Michael, why are we here today? What are we going to look at? Well, we're going to talk about a couple terms that get a lot of publicity these days. One is biohacking, which is the idea of instead of being hijacked by our environments, by pollution, that we can proactively and positively influence our health. And also look at the science of nutrigenomics. Now that's a big fancy sounding word, but it really just means how nutrition can affect our genes. There's an old saying in natural health that our genetics loads the gun, but lifestyle pulls the trigger. Hmm. So if we can do things in our lifestyle that will prevent that trigger from being pulled, that's what we want to talk about. And one of the big triggers is oxidative stress. Hmm. You may have heard that term, but you may have heard it more in the term of free radicals. So let's just define it. Oxidative stress is an imbalance between the production of free radicals and the ability of the body to counteract their harmful effects. And oxidative stress actually leads to over 200 diseases. Wow. So what I want to show in this slide, I want you to notice you're looking at a snapshot of PubMed.gov. This is the National Institute of Health repository of all medical research. And if we type oxidative stress into the search bar at PubMed, you will see all of these things that are connected to oxidative stress. There is the effect on cancer, diabetes, on mitochondria, on depression. So while my oxidative stress is not a disease in and of itself, it is, in a sense, the underlying uh, condition that can lead to disease. So just how important does the government or do scientists think oxidative stress is? Well, if we look at this from PubMed Central, if you look at arrow number one, you'll see the search results that there are over 288,000 studies on oxidative stress in PubMed. Interestingly for me, I looked a little closer and I saw that the National Institute of Health actually funded over 35% of those studies. Interesting. It's very huge. Mm -hmm. And I want you to notice we hold this company to a much higher standard than almost any other company. So the source that we're using is PubMed. We don't look at other random websites or something like Wikipedia, which even middle school students aren't allowed to reference. It's an unreliable source because anybody can edit it. And so when you're researching this, 
look at pubmed.gov. So how, how do we actually reduce oxidative stress? And there's thousands of products out there, but if it were easy, every product, in fact, can do it. The way this company approaches it is with something called NRF2 or NRF2. This is a messenger protein in the cell. And Washington State University said in a study that NRF2 may well be the most extraordinary therapeutic and most extraordinary preventative breakthrough in the history of medicine. So when I say preventative, think of not pulling the trigger. And I also love the fact that this is not Life Vantage, the company saying this. This is Washington State University. They went on to say that if you could raise NRF2, it's been found to prevent and or treat chronic inflammatory diseases, including diseases of the heart, kidney, lung, liver, and it may help in cancer, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, etc. Again, this is not the company making a claim. Mm -hmm. This isn't just hype. This is a research university saying this is what happens if you can somehow activate NRF2. Mm -hmm. Now, not just one university. Oregon State University also studied NRF2 and found, said that NRF2 essentially goes back to the cellular nucleus, rings the little alarm bell where it turns on up to 200 genes that are responsible for cell repair, detoxification of carcinogens, protein, lipid metabolism, and antioxidant protection. The scientists actually called it a longevity assurance factor. So our goals here for the day are to, number one, learn about the most effective way to activate NRF2. Two, to learn about other complementary health products that will help us with nutrigenomics and keeping our genes healthy nutritionally. And then also the idea of considering the business potential of sharing this extraordinary breakthrough. Now, we're going to start by listening to a program that ABC News Investigative Reports did several years ago. So we'll let that serve as your introduction. This is about a nine-minute video. You want to get an edge on turning back the clock with just a few pills? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. As I found out firsthand, there may be a way to erase years, at least inside my body. Granted, it's down the road, but some scientists are wondering if a new pill I took might offer a very long life. It may not look like the fountain of youth, but inside this nondescript building, I'm about to become part of an exciting experiment, a kind of guinea pig. Dr. McCord, okay. I'm here at the University of Colorado in Denver to meet Dr. Joe McCord, a world-renowned scientist. This is a pretty exciting stuff you're finding, huh? It is. We're very excited about it. His latest research could very well unravel the mystery of aging itself. And as decades of experiments may have the potential of adding years to people's lives and possibly prevent chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It all centers around this small yellow pill. And for me, it begins with a blood test. Here, can you scoop? Yeah, there we go. It wouldn't be the first time I've given blood for this company. <laughs> they want to check my levels of something called T-bars, which is a rough indicator of a person's actual age. T-bars can identify a condition known as oxidative stress, a kind of measure of the wear and tear on our bodies. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing. Bad for the body. Leading to disease. Leading to disease and leading to malfunction and importantly leading to what we call aging. It is a slow progression of increasing oxidative stress. That's the main characteristic biochemically of the aging process. The problem of aging begins with the very food we eat to give us energy. As our cells burn that food, they also release toxic chemicals. Those chemicals, you may know them as free radicals, react with all the components of our cells, literally bombarding them millions of times per second, damaging all our cells. The result? Oxidative stress. And we all have it. 
The body fights back with a system of defenses. It makes two antioxidant enzymes, catalase and SOD, whose job is to gobble up the free radicals before they can harm our cells. So doctor, how often do I take these? And so, here I go. With that swallow, I've just become part of a potentially landmark scientific experiment. Doesn't taste bad. Hmm. It's called protandum, and tests on both mice and humans have already shown that it revs up the manufacture of those good enzymes in our bodies. More enzymes, fewer free radicals to harm us. Right now, all we know is that this preparation decreases oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is not a disease, just like aging is not in itself a disease, but it's something that accompanies and is attached to, to many disease processes. So you can see the age-related... Normally, oxidative stress, measured by those T-bars, increases with age. But in Dr. McCord's tests, taking just one pill of protandum a day reversed that trend for everyone at every age, even for an 80-year-old. They all are reduced to the level of oxidative stress that one would expect, frankly, in a, in a newborn or a very young child. High oxidative stress is associated with more than aging. It's been linked to hundreds of illnesses. It's at the very center of many diseases. Liver disease, diabetes, emphysema, asthma. Uh, uh, I've studied all of these, strokes, heart attacks. Even mental disease? Yes. Depression? Alzheimer's disease, depression. Dr. James Crapo with the National Jewish Medical Center in Denver is also researching protandum for the company. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. Dr. McCord calculates the numbers. The result, my level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. 45%, that's, that's excellent. Just look at where I fall on the graph, before and after which if extrapolated back is, is the level you would see in a newborn baby. Would you suggest I keep taking this supplement? I would. Um, I can't guarantee it's going to extend your life. I can't guarantee it's going to uh, eliminate any diseases or cure any diseases. But we do know that oxidative stress is part of those disease processes. I don't want to wait until I'm 80 years old and find out that I should have taken it. Major universities and government agencies initiative and continue self-funded studies following the ABC primetime investigative report you just viewed that originally aired in 2005. These studies continue to reveal more scientific evidence about ProTandem's unique benefits. They are published in major scientific and medical journals. The next video will bring you up to date. Developed after 40 years of research and exclusively for Life Vantage, ProTandem is a true scientific breakthrough in anti-aging. ProTandem has been reported on ABC, NBC, and PBS, featured in the Wall Street Journal, and described in CNN Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta's book, Chasing Life, The Quest for Immortality. ProTandem's creator, Dr. Joe McCord, is a world-renowned scientist and a pioneer in free radical biology. Dr. McCord is the discoverer of the key anti-aging enzyme, superoxide dismutase. His role in the discovery is so significant, the enzyme is measured in McCord units. When I was a graduate student at Duke University, my thesis research was the discovery of a new enzyme called superoxide dismutase. This enzyme had the odd function of scavenging free radicals in the human body. For Dr. McCord's discovery of superoxide dismutase and his contributions in free radical biology, he was awarded the Elliott Crescent Medal. This medal is awarded to distinguished inventors and scientists, putting Dr. McCord in the same company as Pierre and Marie Curie, Alexander Graham Bell, Orville Wright, and Henry Ford. Dr. Joe McCord has devoted his life's work to the study of free radicals, their role in aging, and the many problems associated with aging. Free radicals were known to be involved in a lot of damaging chemistry, chemistry that's involved in the decay and the rusting phenomenon of, of metals. Consumers spend billions every year on antioxidants in the form of food and supplements, hoping to reduce these free radicals. 
but antioxidants from these sources can only eliminate one free radical for every one antioxidant molecule you consume. ProTandem is scientifically proven to slow cellular damage caused by free radicals. Taking one ProTandem one time per day for 30 days turns on these anti-aging enzymes in your body. Your own enzymes eliminate free radicals at a rate of one million to one. So one molecule of superoxide dismutase can react with up to one million free radicals per second, every second. We found, as many other scientists had documented, that there is a progressive increase in T-bars in your blood the older you get. When these same people took protandum for 30 days, the age-dependent increase in lipid peroxidation was completely eliminated. After protandum, we could no longer distinguish the 80-year-old from the 20-year-old. The statement that protandum supplementation can completely eliminate the age-dependent increase in oxidative stress is a very powerful statement. It's been peer-reviewed, it's even been scrutinized by review regulatory agencies and completely validated. ProTandem is protected by three U.S. patents. Universities around the world continue to initiate and fund their own studies of ProTandem and to evaluate how this anti-aging breakthrough can prevent and improve many of the hundreds of problems associated with aging. So when I first saw that video, I went, wow, that has my attention. I hope you maybe had a similar result. What did you think when you first saw that, Linda? I'll tell you, Michael, I still get chills when I watch this because it is a big deal. It's a really big deal. And so what happened if you would have been one of those people sitting in your living room watching this ABC investigative report back in 2005, you might have sent your order in along with $5 million of orders that were sent into this company. Overnight, the stock went from $1 to over $20 on sheer speculation of what this huge breakthrough would mean. The problem was there was no infrastructure. There was no sales or marketing team. And the story goes that Dr. McCord actually got a call from Oprah Winfrey, and he was looking through his microscope, and he looked over to say, who's Oprah? And he didn't <laughs> even know what she represented. So clearly they were not prepared for such a huge onslaught of orders to be um, taken care of. So what happened was they got some consultants in and realized they had a huge story that needed to be told. Bottles don't talk on store shelves. So that clearly wasn't working because it had been retailed in stores like Walgreens, GNC, places like that. But no one really knew the difference between what we had in ProTandem and what was beside the protandum bottle, maybe vitamin C as a form of an antioxidant. So what happened was they experimented, they sent out people to do direct sales and to do person-to-person -person stories about what this could do. And clearly when it grew from 10 million to $200 million in sales, we knew we had landed on something. So Michael, you're the research guy. Why don't you share with us some of these amazing studies that have come out of these prestigious universities? Sure. So that was the thing that got me. Like I said, I've taken supplements for 45 years, kind of on the hope that they were doing me some good. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of this was I didn't have to hope anymore mm. because I'm looking at places like Ohio State University, Louisiana State University, funded by the American Heart Association. So we're going to look at what I would call the greatest hits, so to speak, of some of the research. And I could almost stop after this first slide if I wanted to, because <laughs> this was done, it was, first of all, it was funded by the National Institute of Health. They have a division called the National Institute on Aging Interventions Testing Program. Hmm. They actually found that ProTandem Nerf 2 extends lifespan by 7% in male mice. So longevity studies have to be done on animals. They would take 125 years to do it on humans. Hmm. And so mm -hmm. that wouldn't be time effective for us. But uh, they actually compared it to things that I was already taking, like fish oil and green tea and turmeric and resveratrol, all wonderful products, and none of them extended lifespan. Hmm. But when they were combined with uh, the synergy that is in the blend of ProTandem, it actually did. Now, 7% doesn't sound huge, 
But in an average human lifespan, that's about five years. And if it's quality life, that's significant. So like I said, I almost feel like, well, that's enough for me. But actually, this is one of the more recent studies. Some of the older ones, some of the first ones, was this study that was funded by the American Heart Association and was published in Circulation. Found that Protandum Nerf 2 prevented fibrosis and capillary loss. Now what happens when someone has high blood pressure, it damages the heart. So it damages it in terms of creating scar tissue, which is that fibrosis, and then we lose capillaries and you lose right heart function. So again, what got my attention is this is not the company saying, oh, look at how wonderful our product mm -hmm. is. This is Ohio State University doing a study. It was funded by the American Heart Association saying this is what this product does. Hmm. So I don't know of another company out here that, that has that level of credibility. This next study is a little embarrassing, not for our company, but for the company that funded it. Hmm. Um, there is a drug on the market called Tecfidera, and it is used to treat multiple sclerosis. And at some point they were trying to compare. Now, it also is designed to activate that NERF2 protein, that, that cellular activator. And so they, at one point they were comparing it to some other products to see how it stacked up. Uh, they looked at sulforaphane, which is broccoli extract, and Protandum was one of those. And this is from their study. It was funded by uh, Biogen uh, IDEC, that is the company that makes Tecfidera. And it showed that Protandum showed the most potent induction. And then in the final summary of this, it said, interestingly, Protandum, a dietary supplement consisting of herbal ingredients, was actually the most potent inducer and therefore may be the most suited as a therapeutic strategy. So that study was a little hard to find, actually. There is one on PubMed and multiple sclerosis with Protandum, but this study is like on page 369 of Multiple <laughs> Sclerosis <laughs> Journal, and I had to dig through it to find that. So like I said, when a drug company actually says that your natural product is more effective, what more that's evidence do you... That's a big deal. That's yeah, a big deal. Mm -hmm. So again, back to this oxidative stress. You saw it in the video, but what I like to point out in here is that when you see free radical oxidative stress with regards to the different organ systems, the heart, the skin, the kidney, the joints. So for example, in my family, uh, eyes are a weak link. My mother had macular degeneration. I had an aunt that was blind. I've worn glasses since I was nine years wow. old. I have a sister with glaucoma. So I think of it this way. So um, the genetics loaded the gun for mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. but in my family members, the trigger was in fact pulled. The oxidative stress hit full force in the eyes. Mm -hmm. My aunt went blind. My mother went half blind. And so I don't know what your family history is, but if you just look at those different areas, whether it's the lung, the kidneys, all of those are your weak links. That's where there will be a tendency for oxidative stress to hit you the hardest. Mm -hmm. And and to put it in perspective, sometimes people don't realize, well, how many free radicals does the body produce in a day? And it's an unbelievable number, 1.3 sextillion. That's wow. one with 21 zeros. I have no idea mm. to get any sense of how big that number mm -mm. is. Mm -mm. So old styles of doing supplementation, taking vitamin C, vitamin E, drinking fruit juice, that's not harmful, but they only neutralize one free radical per molecule. And so it's a one and done. There's no way that it can keep up with 1.36 mm -hmm. trillion. So this is what we have is called activation. We're not supplementing. We're activating the NERF2 messenger protein. And as you heard Dr. McCord in the video say, that eliminates free radicals at a million to one per second. That's it's like crazy. If your house is on fire and you throw a bucket of water on it, mm -hmm. not the wrong thing to do, mm -mm. just not enough mm -hmm. of the right thing. And so Nerf 2 activation is like having a sprinkler system on. The house catches on fire, the sprinkler system goes on in every room of the house and hmm. takes care of things. So um, 
So again, think back about your family genetics. Where's your weak link that the oxidative stress is going to hit? And the solution to that would be the product called Protandum Nerf 2 that you saw Dr. McCord talk about. So it combats cellular stress by Nerf 2 activation, mm. not supplementation. It's very, very different. And it's the only supplement proven in a clinical study to reduce oxidative stress 40% in 30 days. Helps to regulate your body's survival genes. So what was interesting, as I said, in that um, National Institute of Health study, and I myself, I have to admit, so here's the skeptic coming out. Hmm. When I was first introduced to this, I looked at the ingredients and I went, eh, I already take most of those. So I can't imagine that this would do me any good. But I started taking it, and much to my surprise, despite the fact that I was already taking handfuls of supplements, mm -hmm. not activators, mm -hmm. I actually felt better. I felt a little mentally clear. I seemed to feel a little happier. And I thought, that's interesting, again, because when I was introduced to it, I was 57 years old. And at that point in my life, I remember thinking, I feel it better than I felt in my entire life. And I told the person who introduced me to it, I said, you've got a pretty tough sell here. Mm -hmm. I feel really good. So why this slide is here is that even though I took many of those ingredients, it was that, as you see, all of them do a little bit to reduce free radical damage. But when they're combined in the right ratio, they actually are 18 times more powerful wow. than any individual one. So there is a patent on this because the proportions in the formula matter. Yeah. So for example, if you wanted to make a loaf of bread and you know you need about six cups of flour and two cups of water and some sugar and salt and oil, great. But if you just reverse those two ingredients and use six cups of water and two cups of flour, you don't get a pretty loaf of bread. <laughs> you get kind of a blob from who knows where. But just imagine if you instead switch the sugar and the salt and you used three tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of sugar. Maybe you got everything else right. It would look right. But as soon as you bit into it, you would go, oh, I wouldn't be eating something it. is no. different. No. Yeah. So this proprietary formula is significant. And again, it is patented. Hmm. When I joined the company almost seven years ago, Protandum Nerf 2 tablet was the only product the company had. But research continued and more applications ensued. So this study really got my attention. Again, I want you to notice the logo. Louisiana State University, a major research university, did this study. Also, it was funded by the Skin Cancer Foundation and found that Protandum Nerf 2 reduced the incidence of skin cancer by 33%. Wow. And the number of tumors, even in the mice that got tumors, uh, there were 57 fewer tumors. Now, I'm going to round that down a little bit to say, so if we, if we had 100 mice, for example, that would mean 33 of them didn't get any cancer at all. And of the ones that did get cancer, and I'm just going to, again, make up a number, if they got 10 tumors on the ones that weren't treated, the other ones only got five tumors. Hmm. So... That's significant. So try this. Walk into your local health food store or talk to your local esthetician and say, yeah, I want to get some skin care stuff. So what do you have that will reduce skin cancer by a third? <laughs> and they'll just look at you kind of funny. So because they don't have anything. And I've talked to several estheticians about this. Hmm. And they just look at me like, what do you mean? You have something that has clinical evidence, real, not just company hype, real clinical evidence? Show me that. That's awesome. So it's a product called True Science that includes the Nerf 2 activators in it. And even if it didn't have that, this is a delightful skincare line. It mm. smells good, doesn't it, Linda? Oh, I feel, love how it feel, feels, feel, smells. Feel, yeah, it feels perfect. great, smells great. So notice this picture, day one, day 61. I like this picture for a number of reasons. Typically when you see uh, comparisons, the lighting is different. The facial expression is different. Mm -hmm. You know, the person's frowning in picture one and they're smiling in <laughs> yeah. picture two. Everybody looks better when they <laughs> smile. But this is a flat expression both times. Mm -hmm. Look at the difference in the forehead, in right. the deep crease, at the marionette mm -hmm. lines, at the, at the chin. Significant difference. And here's a man who had the courage to put it only on half of his face. 
Again, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. Compare the forehead. Look at the difference in the eyes. Look at the difference in the cheek, in the right around mm -hmm. the mouth. So this is an amazing product. I've been using it ever since it came out, and, and I actually just love it. Mm. So up to this point, we've been doing a lot of scientific research. This is a dog. Dogs don't do scientific <laughs> research. At really? least not the ones that I know. <laughs> But I want you to notice this. This is, and you can go to YouTube and type in Protandum Dog, and you'll see this video on Duke. So this poor pooch, its legs are totally useless. It's on wheels in the back. And they took it to the vet, and the vet really encouraged the family to put the dog down. Mm. And, you know, families hate it. It's so painful to do that. Sure. So they started giving it uh, Protandum Nerf 2 dog formula. And within about three months... They abandoned the training wheels, and he was able to kind of wobbly, but could move mm -hmm. and, and stand up. And then after about nine months or so, the dog was really pretty fully functional. The legs could move. If you watch the video, you'll see it's still a little gimpy, but really totally mobile and walking along like a, the old dog that he is. He's probably mm -hmm. 12 years old at that point. So they took their two and formulated it for animals, not just dogs, but cats and horses, and added a few other things like some fish oil and some glucosamine to support joints. So now they have a customized formula because originally people were just giving the actual protandum that humans were taking. So uh, I'm going to let Linda read the summary for you here. This has been a lot of information, Michael, but I hope everyone's finding it helpful. Um, Nerf 2 is the most significant breakthrough in the history of medicine. We saw that. It, number two, the research shows it's the only product with 23 studies. And some of those mentioned were the National Institute of Health, Louisiana State, Ohio State, American Heart Association, and others. And third point we covered was Nerf 2 is natural and it's a potent Nerf 2 activator. I'm sorry, Protandum Nerf 2 is that potent activator internally externally with the skin cream and for our furry friends. We do have other Life Vantage products. Michael, we can go into that. Would you talk about another Nerf product we have? Sure. So like I said, when I joined the company um, about seven years ago, Protandum in the pill, that was it. Then they came out with the skin care. I don't personally have pets as much as I like them. And then they've continued to kind of follow in the footsteps of their flagship product. So this is for all you biology majors out there, you recognize this as being a model cell that you would see in a textbook. And I wanna bring your attention to the little red Oscar Mayer Wiener hot dog looking <laughs> thing here called a mitochondria. So mitochondria, it's a, the cell is like a little human being. It has what we call organelles. So we have livers and kidneys and spleens, while cells have organelles, tiny organs. And mm -hmm. the organelle that is responsible for energy production in the cell is called the mitochondria. So it takes food and turns it into ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. There's not going to be a test. Don't worry about this. <laughs> Yay. Uh, and so I think of it this way, though. I, I think more simply. Think about the cell as having a battery in it. And as we age, if you look at a baby or a young child and you see they seem to have boundless energies. They have lots of mitochondria that are fully charged, lots mm -hmm. of fully charged batteries. And then look at an elderly person shuffling along the street in the mall someplace. Mm -hmm. And they don't move with much spring in their step. Their batteries are clearly running down. Yeah. And not only are the batteries that are there running down, but many of the batteries have been damaged beyond repair, so they have fewer batteries. Mm. And so when we look at the dysfunction that mitochondrial, or the diseases rather, that mitochondrial dysfunction causes, notice things like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Lou Gehrig's, mm. a lot of brain disorders, uh, as well as things like muscular disorders, muscular dystrophy, cardiomyopathy. Even cancer has a mitochondrial dysfunctional component. Now, I'm going to segue and tell a little story. When, when I was an old man three years ago, <laughs> so what happened? When I turned 60, even though I was taking a lot of good products, I started to not feel my normal energetic 
motivated self. And I remember sitting at the kitchen table, it was probably, I think it was my 60th birthday, going, oh, I know why old men sit around and play checkers and <laughs> shuffleboard. That's all the motivation I have. And then I thought, who is this guy? Mm. I don't like this person. Yeah. So I did some blood work on myself. And like I said, I know quite a bit about nutrition. I'm a professional at this point. And I created my own little cocktail that was going to enhance my mitochondria. Hmm. After about six weeks, I started feeling more like my perky self again. So this was before this product that we're talking about now came out, before Protandum Nerf 1 came out. So when Protandum Nerf 1 came out, it was like um, uh, Babe Ruth said, it was deja vu all over again. It was, <laughs> it was okay, I'm looking at Protandum Nerf 2 going, yeah, I already take all that stuff. I'm not going to feel any different on this. So I get Protandum Nerf 1, and I look at it, and I go, yeah, I'm already taking most of that stuff. I figured that out. But there are a couple things in here I don't have, mm -hmm. and my ratios were different. Hmm. So I started taking Protandum Nerf 1, and much to my surprise, again, I thought, wow, I feel even better on this than I did on my little amateur concocted cocktail. <laughs> so it's really important to have healthy mitochondria. In fact... I distinctly remember, and these are kind of two pivotal moments, which is why I get so enthusiastic about these products. I remember getting ready to go to work one day, and I was just getting clothes out of the closet and doing things, and I thought, I just had this, again, spontaneous thought, God, I haven't felt like this since I was 30 years old. Hmm. Wow. And that was shortly after I started taking Protandum Nerf 2. It wasn't a conscious thought. I wasn't trying to make anything up. It was just an observation. Hmm. And so... It's been shown to increase cellular energy, boost mitochondrial production, so not only charge the battery, but actually make more batteries or wow. facilitate the body making more batteries hmm. and slowing cellular aging. So I'm a big fan of this product, despite my initial skepticism as I had with Protandum Nerf 2. Hmm. So the company goes on, and I'm going to tell you my own um initial reaction to this. So the company went into the energy drink market. And when I saw that, I went, really? What are they doing? They, <laughs> they make serious products. Why are they going after this market? Well, I didn't understand the product, but I looked at some of the things about energy drinks. And what I saw was, well, Red Bull has over six teaspoons of sugar in it. That's not oh, good. And five-hour energy drink is an artificial sweetener. And with all due respect to those, they, they uh, sell a lot of products. But what if there was a healthier alternative that was maybe sweetened with something called stevia that does not adversely affect blood sugar? True. So, but I've never used an energy drink in my life, mm -hmm. despite the fact that I just drank some of this right before we started this. Am I talking too fast? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but at any rate, what I didn't get was that this is not really just your average energy drink. This is brain food. Mm -hmm. And so the company, uh, one of the experiences some people have had, if you look over at this before and after Axio picture of a young child, a young boy is about 10 years old, that's his homework. And he has some difficulties learning, some learning issues on many levels. So his parents put him on Axio and Protandum. And two weeks later, look at the quality of penmanship, the improvement in spelling, it's, and it's remarkable. So for children who have those kinds of issues, it can mm -hmm. be a real gift. Mm -hmm. And then I've actually noticed in my practice, because as an acupuncturist, I get a lot of elderly people. Mm -hmm. And what happens is maybe one spouse is saying, you know, my wife has been diagnosed with dementia or early onset Alzheimer's. And it's just, it's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, let's see, what causes that? Oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction. They yep. could maybe use a little extra brain food. Yep. And I've had very nice feedback on people using these products. It's not treating or nope. curing anything. Nope. It's just improving function and activating the normal cellular processes that have been lost. Remember in that study... They couldn't tell the difference in the blood of an 80-year-old from the blood of a 20-year-old. So even if you're 80 years old, you can start this. Mm -hmm. So it's a wonderful product. Mm -hmm. 
The next product that uh, we're going to talk about that the company has is called ProBio. Now, probiotics are all over the place now, and they're all very good, but there are a number of problems with them. One is many of them don't make it past the gut. So people say, well, I only use the refrigerated kind. Well, I hate to tell you, but when you drink that or when you consume that, your stomach is not at a refrigeration temperature. <laughs> so, and, and really, so even if it has 60 billion going in, if you get 6 billion or 600,000 into where it belongs, you're mm -hmm. lucky. Mm -hmm. So this one is a special coating called BioTract that's a trademarked delivery system that's actually time-released. And it also has something in it called Wellmune. Now, I was not familiar with this, so my little skeptical brain went to work <laughs> and said, okay, let's go to PubMed and see what Wellmune is. I typed it in. I saw that there were nine studies on Wellmune. Mm -hmm. This is just one of them. And this was done on marathon runners. It showed that it reduced upper respiratory problems, improved mood, and provided superior mental and physical energy levels. So the summary in that study showed that it may be a useful approach for maintaining immune protection mm. against daily stressors. And I don't know about you, but do you have any daily stressors? Oh, under? not at all. No, no, Never. Me, me either. Mm -hmm. Right. So <laughs> just really interesting. So Wellmune is patented, but not by LifeVantage. You can go online and type in Wellmune, and you'll see literally hundreds of products that Wellmune is added to to enhance them. A lot of pediatric products, hmm. a lot of products for people in nursing homes, mm -hmm. and that's where a lot of those studies were generated. Interesting. From, so, you know, they saw in nursing homes, people who were taking Wellmune, when the flu hits through the nursing home, mm -hmm. these people were more well protected. So it's really, and, and I've taken many probiotics over the years, and I was talking to one of my uh, chiropractor, chiropractic patients, and I said, you know, I just find this one really soothing. And she said, yeah, me too. And I thought, that's mm. interesting because we both have used other brands, but I just find it very soothing and just really a very nice effect. So I don't know if you've ever jumped on your scale in the morning onto the next product and your scale has said that to you. <laughs> but if it said help, you might want to look at a weight management system. Obviously, this is a huge problem in America. Mm -hmm. we, we suffer from excess calories and deficient nutrition. Yep. It's a, it's a horrible combination. Mm -hmm. So we're overfed and, and undernourished. undernourished. Yeah, Correct. exactly. So the company came out with a very nice weight management system consisting in part with ProBio. Then there is an herbal cleanse, which... Again, folks, I'm a skeptical person. Mm -hmm. I've done, have you done a few cleanses in oh, your life? Oh, lots of them. Yeah. Oh, lots I've of done them. tons of them. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised, yet again, mm -hmm. at how nice, and it was a gentle cleanse, mm -hmm. but it had a very nice, noticeable effect. And probably the most important product for many people is this fat burn product that targets visceral fat. Now, and this is your picture here, Michael. That's not I, no, me. Oh, no, 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 that's I, not, I wish. <laughs> that I, I am actually more like the first guy. No, I'm probably more like the second yeah, guy. Yeah. I, I'm going to just say results not typical on that, <laughs> on that little, little, little illustration. But results are possible. Clearly yes. that guy worked out. Yes. And no, no weight management system is allowed to say this does it by itself. It must be combined with... Uh, calorie restriction and exercise. exercise. Yes. yes. But here's a couple of the ingredients that are in that fat burn. Uh, this was published in Phytotherapy Research. It's called Sinitrol X Pure. And what it found was that this product helps to reduce abdominal fat, waist and hip circumference, and body weight. And it improves inflammatory and glycemic and oxidative status in healthy, overweight individuals. They combine that with something called Svetol, or Svetol, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. And it was from the, it was published in the Journal of uh, Agriculture and Food Chemistry. And this is a, a standardized decaffeinated co green coffee extract. So again, my little skeptical brain mm -hmm. goes to PubMed, types in Svetol, and says, oh, there's three studies. 
Significantly, it contributes to anti-diabetic and glucose lowering effects because it reduces hepatic glucose production. Hepatic refers to your liver. liver. So this is that uh, metabolic syndrome problem mm -hmm. that we were talking about earlier that mm -hmm. you have high blood sugar, you have central obesity. Mm -hmm. And so this one product addresses both of those. And I'm actually a tall skinny guy, but I do have a bit of a gut. And so I got to experiment with this myself, and I actually lost five pounds. I saw a number on a scale I really haven't seen for probably 10 years. Wow. And uh, so my scale didn't say help. It said ice cream. Eat more ice cream. <laughs> That's what it said. And last but not least, the final product in the catalog of this company is a fish oil product, but Again, that's nothing really unique about it. But what I find is this company is really, really good at creating unique combinations mm -hmm. of things. Very true. So you may not have heard of omega-7s. You've heard of omega-3s, maybe 6s and 9s. But omega-7 helps to actually increase fat breakdown. And it was studied by researchers at the Cleveland Clinic and found that omega-7 had a 44% reduction in C-reactive protein levels. Now, wow. CRP or C-reactive protein is an inflammatory marker you can mm -hmm. see in a blood test. And so they combined that. I'm, I'm really starting to like the company because they're just great formulators. Mm -hmm. They combined omega-3 with omega-7 and vitamin D, which is really epidemic level proportions of deficiencies. Mm -hmm. Even in people who take vitamin D, if mm -hmm. you get a blood test, like I was taking 2000 milligrams of vitamin D, which sounds like a lot. Mm -hmm. And I had a blood test done and my, my vitamin D level was 29. Now the, oh the low end should be 32 at, at the worst. Oh and boy. it was 29. Hmm. So Vitamin D is very poorly absorbed, so you can, you know, by all means, check it out with a blood test. But they put a conservative but adequate amount of vitamin D in this. So rather than taking, which is what I was doing before, I was taking fish oil. You could buy omega-7 separately. You can buy vitamin D separately. So now you have three bottles mm -hmm. to open. Or you could just take this, and it supports the brain, the heart, and immune functions. Hmm. Wow. A lot of good information again for this part two. Let's go over what we heard. Protandum Nerf One is the newer product we have for cellular energy support. Axio is our energy drink or brain food. I like to call it our think drink. That's what I refer to it as. Number three, we talked about the ProBio, which is all about gut health, um, immune health. Our company is focused on that because if your gut isn't healthy, you can't be healthy. Can, can I interrupt you? Please do. Uh, I just, I wanted to give an example and I just thought of it. In Chinese medicine, every organ has a mm -hmm. paired organ and the lungs are paired to the large intestine and every organ has a connect, has a associated tissue. Lung and large intestine is skin. I can't tell you how many people come into me with skin issues. Mm -hmm. I put them on ProBio yes, and the skin clears up. Yours. So we call it gut health, immune health. But I thought, wait a minute, yeah. I forgot something. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Skin issues are highly connected to gut health. So yes. sorry well, I No, you don't have to apologize for that. I'm the colon hydro therapist. I see that all the time. If the gut's not working right, the skin could be right. taking out some of those toxins. So sure, sure. it has to be addressed. Great. And then number four, we looked at our weight management system we call Physique or the Smart Weight Management System that has four components. And then number five, a very recent product we have is the Omega Plus with, as Michael said, the fish oil, the vitamin D. It's for fat burning. Many good things come out of that product. So Michael, let's get into our third conversation in this presentation. Why Life Vantage? What makes this company, the products, and the opportunity so unique? Compare it to something else. Okay. Well, you know, with all due respect and to other companies, and as an acupuncturist, I do carry products from other companies. So I want you to know that I'm not a one company thinker. Okay. I, I have literally 10 other product lines that I use in my professional practice. Wow. But I think of this company as a foundation level. Mm -hmm. And it's a little embarrassing for me. Well, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, but... 
I can't go into PubMed and type in all my other product names and find research. So uh -huh. but we'll talk about that more in a minute. So one of the things that is unique about this company is the fact that uh, Protandum has 11 patents on it worldwide. So this is not a product that people can just say, oh, we can do that too. In fact, many companies have tried to. <laughs> you, can, you can easily, and I have other companies that try to sell me, and it says right on the bottle, Nerf 2 Activator. And I can go in and I can type that brand into PubMed, and I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. So you have to make this distinction. Companies can say anything, and people often do. Mm -hmm. That's why we hold this company to a higher standard and say, can you find it in PubMed? Can you type in the brand name and show me the research? If mm -hmm. you can, great. So this is patented. Nobody can duplicate this exact uh, formula. Mm -hmm. Second, this is a publicly traded company on the NASDAQ. It's a $200 million a year company. And publicly traded companies have to be transparent. So the, the uh, SEC could walk into LifeVantage offices right now and say, show us your records. And the company's not going to do any underhanded mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. uh, if they know that can happen. Mm -hmm. so, so you just know there's a level of transparency there mm -hmm. that you can feel confident with. Mm -hmm. To me, this is the crown jewel, so to speak, is PubMed.gov. You can go to PubMed.gov, type in ProTandem, and you'll see 23 peer-reviewed clinical studies not funded by the company, not done by the company, but funded by major universities, Ohio State, Louisiana State, funded by the American Heart Association, funded by the Skin Cancer Foundation, the National Institute of Health, That's big. of all things. So walk into your local health food store and say, so I'm looking for a product that extends lifespan 7%. Can you show me one? <laughs> and they will just look at you like you're a nutcase mm -hmm. because they could pull something off the, the shelf and say, well, this is supposed to be good for lifespan and say, okay, great. I just happen to have my computer handy. Let me type that in. You're not going to see anything. Mm -mm. So, and, and like I said, I'm a little embarrassed about many of the other products that I have from, from good professional companies. And if I didn't say this before, uh, I've been to trainings at all these companies. I've been to their farms. I've been to their facilities. I've mm. studied with their doctors. Every company thinks they have the best products yep. on the planet. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad. They should be enthusiastic about their products. Yep. But I can go into PubMed and I can type in any product name from any one of those companies mm -hmm. and virtually nothing will show up. Wow. So, And it doesn't mean they're not good products. Mm -hmm. But they don't have what this company has. Mm -hmm. Now, another big plus is the company doesn't really have to produce a commercial. ABC Primetime <laughs> did that for them. Could they yeah. produce a better commercial? Not with blood work and all of that included. Blood work, independent. And ABC News is looking for dirt. They're exactly. going in to shut companies down. Exactly. And they walked out going, oh, should I keep taking this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will. I will. So, <laughs> uh, so a hundred percent positive investigative report by a major news organization. Mm -hmm. Now, another one, uh, another plus is Dr. Joe McCord. So that Elliot Crescent medal, Elliot Crescent medal, that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. He won that for discovering the biology of free radical reactions in living organisms. And to, to you and me, that doesn't really sound all that exciting. But if you realize the significance of other people who've won it, Alexander Graham Bell, it would almost be like, you know, if when he discovered and developed the telephone, if I came to you and said, hey, Linda, my friend, Alex, discovered this thing called a telephone, they're going to be all over the country. You want to join my company yeah. and start telling people yeah. about it? Sure. You'd think I no. was crazy. No. <laughs> but what do we have? Or Orville Wright, hey, my friend Orville, he got this flying right. machine. You know, yeah. Not going to happen. But that's the level that Joe McCord is at. Wow. So there's a lot of bright scientists out there, a mm -hmm. lot of intelligent doctors who make very good products, really mm -hmm. with all due respect. But how many medals have they won that are at this level of, of caliber? Good point. So, good point. No. Um, this isn't particularly unique for number six. It's an international company. They're now mm -hmm. in 17 markets. Or and growing all the time. Yeah. So in 17 countries, now... To be honest, many companies are in multiple countries. So mm -hmm. it's not particularly unique, but you also see this is not a one country 
company. Correct. However, number seven is unique mm -hmm. because you know how in real estate they say it's location, location, location. 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 <laughs> right. Well, in business, many times it's timing, timing, time, timing, timing, timing. Yeah. So the company has passed what we might call the risky ground floor level where about 90% mm -hmm. of companies fail. And I've, I've been in those companies. Within the first five years, I think. Yeah, they first five typically. years, yeah. And this company was almost one of those statistics. In, mm -hmm. in the, if we look Very at true. the history, like you said, they right. got all these orders. They couldn't fill them. They were ready to go under. Exactly. And if they wouldn't have changed their model, they would have. Yes. So they could have been yes. one of those ground floor companies. Right. So if we look at it, though, there's something called critical mass in a company. So if we look at the early timeline, this is risky here, the first people in. Mm -hmm. But the other end of it in the timing spectrum is if it's too mature a company. So we've all heard of mature companies like um, Mary Kay, Avon, Tupperware, mm -hmm. Herbalife. Excellent companies, excellent products. You could join them today and talk to people about those products. Uh, but how many people have never heard of them? So you you don't have a lot of new, you know, Correct. usually if they've heard of them, they're either already using the products or they weren't interested in the products. Right. But what's unique about Life Vantage is they're down here in the early majority stage, or past the, the risky stage, but not until they get up to, I believe it's 135,000 distributors is considered per the country. Per, oh, per country. Per country. And we're only at about 80,000, right? Yes. So yes. right, like the sweetest of the sweet spots. Sweet spot. Absolutely sweet spot. <laughs> so, so that's really significant when you think about an opportunity to share mm -hmm. a life-changing uh, medical breakthrough, not based on company hype, based on mm -hmm. university research. And again, that's the only reason I'm here, mm -hmm. is that university research. So I know sometimes people maybe have mixed feelings, to put it mildly, about multi-level marketing, network marketing, person-to-person -person marketing, however mm -hmm. you want to call it. Because people will say things like, oh, is this one of those pyramid schemes? No, Bernie Madoff is a pyramid scheme. He's in jail. Pyramid <laughs> schemes are illegal. Yes. Uh, how many Avon reps are in jail? <laughs> how, how many Tupperware people are you going and, you know, <laughs> visiting oh, them in, in the prison? So, and if you don't believe that, believe, you know, you may have heard of this guy, Warren Buffett. He's pretty smart and he's yes. pretty rich. Yes, he is. So Warren Buffett, believe it or not, owns a network marketing company really? called The Pampered Chef. He uh -huh. says it's the best investment I've ever made. <laughs> so if you're not on board with network marketing, you might want to take a page out of Warren Buffett's playbook. There you go. So... That's again credibility beyond. I don't have to defend this. I just say I don't know. My my friend Warren thinks it's pretty good. What do you think? <laughs> so and then there's another pretty smart guy yes. who was named Robert Kiyosaki. Wrote a book you may have heard of called Rich Dad Poor Dad. Mm -hmm. Sold over 32 million copies. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. He must be a pretty smart guy. People mm -hmm. listen to him. He wrote another book called The Business of the 21st Century. Mm -hmm. Guess what that business was. Network marketing. Network marketing, yes. So here is just a, a brief comparison. Network marketing, relatively low cost. As a result, low risk. You get a business, a franchise, or a profession. You mm -hmm. go to medical school. You go to acupuncture school like me. You invest an enormous amount of money Absolutely. and time yes. before you even earn a penny. Exactly. I mean, I went to school for three years before I could charge for that service, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I spent a lot of money. Yeah, you're in debt, and you aren't earning. And typically. you aren't earning, yeah. So it's almost like, even if you did really well right out of the starting gate, mm -hmm. it's like you're going to work for free for two years. So you got right. three years of going to school not making any money. If you were to amortize that over the next two years, okay, that pays for it. So I've got five years' time invested. Okay, now I get profit. Yeah. That's how most businesses or professions are. That's rough. In, in network marketing, you can be self-directed, mm -hmm. and if you have a business, you've got to be a boss and uh, direct others, which is kind of like herding cats sometimes mm -hmm. from what I see in a lot of places. You don't have any employees, but you have team members that actually help you. Yep. If you're a boss, you've got to deal with employees and people calling in sick. I have a, a nephew who's got a, a, 
a cleaning company, a, like a what is it, a professional cleaning company. They mm -hmm. they clean atomic buildings, warehouses, places like that, like high wow. risk places. But you're dealing with minimum wage employees in those kind of high risk situations. Somebody's always getting drunk and calling off work. Yep. You get to learn while you're earning money instead of learning first for three or five or ten years and then earning later. And and when I say things like ten years, that's the other thing that's fascinating about this company. There are over 500 medical professionals that are part of this company. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, someone who is one of the top 50 cardiologists in the world joined this company and I look at that kind of a little bit awestruck, like somebody that's that much smarter than me, mm -hmm. that much um, more well-educated than me. And she looked at it and said, yeah, it took her a week from, from when she was first introduced, looked at the research, said, I'm in. Hmm. So this is not your average network marketing company. True. And the other thing is, you know, you can start part-time. I, I remember distinctly, uh, Dr. Mark Gordon, who's also a cardiologist, mm -hmm. when he was introduced and said to his wife, I think we're going to do this. And she, I remember him saying, she looked at me like, what? You're, you're a full-time cardiologist. Right, with when? Two I kids, mean, when yeah, are we going to yeah, do this? Yeah. I don't, we'll put it in the nooks and crannies of our life. You know, you got 10 minutes here, you can call somebody or mm -hmm. whatever. So, so the ability to do it a little bit at a time, in the spaces of your life, instead of watching television or doing mm -hmm. other things, uh, you can do that. And eventually you could do it full time if you chose to. But many people just do it part time as a kind of a side hustle, so mm -hmm. to speak. So the other piece about network marketing that many people maybe don't fully comprehend, I know I didn't, is this idea of passive income. So I in, in most jobs, you get work when you're in front of somebody. I go right. in when I'm seeing my patient, I'm with them, and they pay me money for the time I've spent with mm -hmm. them. It's, it's an hour for, for dollar ratio. Mm -hmm. And that's fine, if you, especially if you make a decent hourly wage. But I have actually written a couple of books. And I know I wrote the book once, and yeah, I put in the effort once. But then every time a book was sold, I got a residual from that. Mm -hmm. And so... The most people don't have access to a model like that. They're mm -hmm. trading hours for dollars. But with this, if we enroll someone and they see the value of the product and they get benefit, well, they get on a subscription program and they're just getting the product mailed to them every month. Mm -hmm. And the person who did that gets that passive income. They mm -hmm. get a, a small commission from that. And then the other, and this is probably the biggest piece of network marketing is leverage versus that hours, hours for dollars. So if I heard uh, someone once say, without leverage, network marketing is just a job. In other words, mm -hmm. I it's just like me retailing my other products out of my office. Mm -hmm. I can do that. I can earn a commission, but it's only for the one person I'm speaking of. Mm -hmm. But what if, like a franchise, let's say you were the person who developed Panera, well, the, the person at the top of that chain, everybody is paying them franchise fees. Mm -hmm. And it's duplicated and duplicated and duplicated. Mm -hmm. The average person doesn't have access to duplication except through a network marketing model. Very true. And, and I, I'm a little bit embarrassed about this and a little sheepish about this, but my downline taught me the power of network marketing. <laughs> <laughs> because for a time, due to my own life circumstances, I was not doing the business. Mm. And my dear friend Linda sitting next to me did continue to do the business, and I just saw my checks getting bigger. And at some point I said, Linda, what are you doing? <laughs> And one time you even said, I think I made the biggest mistake in not sticking with this. And that was a few years ago. Was, so finally the lights came on. And yeah. Came so, so if you're skeptical or you're a little bit of a dunce, just know that you're, you're me too. And I, I literally dropped the ball. But, and in my defense, as Linda and I just were discussing earlier, there were things in my life circumstances mm -hmm. that didn't allow me to actively right. work the business. That happens. And it happens. But so to be able to have downline duplication is, is a remarkable thing. Uh, another really important thought is, so you might think, well, I've got a secure job and I've got a six-figure income and, and I've got a good retirement plan. 
And have you ever heard of people going into work and seeing a security officer standing next to their desk saying, please empty your desk and they're ex escorted out to the parking lot? I have a friend that happened to just a week ago. Yeah. That's got to be, I mean, the shock and the heartbreak, mm -hmm. it, it's un, unthinkable. Or, yeah. or even big companies like, you know, Toys R Us just went out of business. Ugh. Uh, even Sam's Clubs were closing. People didn't know. They showed up for work. There's a sign on the door. That's how they got uh -huh. their notice. So this idea of dig the well before you're thirsty, you don't know when that could happen. I mean, I'm self-employed and I'm not going to fire myself. But, but you know, if I was in an accident and was mm -hmm. in the hospital and couldn't work, my hours for dollars are gone. Exactly. So... Warren Buffett, that rather smart guy again, <laughs> said, never depend on a single income. Make investment to create a second source. Now, there's a lot of ways you can create investment. If you have a million dollars, you could put that into an annuity and, and mm -hmm. get residual income. Mm -hmm. Most people don't have a million dollars, but even if you have a modest amount, I, I looked up again, Mr. Skeptical Researcher, I, I googled $100,000 annuity monthly payment. <laughs> Do you know what it is, Linda? No. It's about 600 bucks a month. Ooh. So Ooh. what's easier, to save $100,000 and then put it into an annuity and turn that into a, a monthly income stream, or, as you'll see in a little bit, share life-changing products with somebody to develop the equivalent thereof? Every month coming so, in. So that brings us to kind of our... Conclusion almost. Mm -hmm. So now what? Well, if you say, wow, these products sound interesting, um, then you pick the products you want and ask the person who invited you so you can get wholesale pricing. So that's one option. If you see the value of sharing this with other people and you say, well, gee, I haven't started digging a well. Mm -hmm. um, and in this economy, things are precarious for everyone. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should be a distributor. And so the companies put together some uh, packages that have products equivalent to or actually more than the actual cost of the package. But even before the packages, you could really get in for as little as the cost of what's called a start kit, which mm -hmm. is just $50, and about $100 worth of products. So for under $200, that would be the, the lowest entry fee. Mm -hmm. But you still have all the same potential to, to share with people. Mm -hmm. Or you could buy one of these packs like the silver pack or the gold pack or the pat, platinum pack uh, and get lots of products so you could sample them, try them, sell them, share them, however you wanted to. And just know these are designed to give you a little bit of discount on the amount of the mm -hmm. products. The... Um, the way the distributor compensation plan works, so if people haven't done network marketing, they may not be familiar with, well, how do you actually get paid doing network marketing? So my simplified version is you just help people, you share the products, and the company sends you a thank you check. Yep, Does that makes sense. Makes sense. Very simple, very so, true. Um, Linda, you've had more experience than me, actually, with this uh, compensation plan. Do you want to tell them a little bit about what these different levels mean? And well, yeah, it's real simple. We see the first column paid rank. So when you come into this business, you come in as a distributor, and until you get to the rank pro one, which means you're generating a thousand dollars in volume per month, and you can come in buying the platinum pack, and that makes you a pro one. That's worth a thousand points. So you'll make an average of around eighty bucks um, as a pro one. On up the scale, Michael, I can vouch for the fact that at Premier Pro 5, which for instance I hit in about a year, I was bringing in between $2,000 um, and $2,500. That was real helpful the month that I had rotator cuff surgery and I was down and yeah, I couldn't do my so other work. And the money still came in because I had dug a well before I was thirsty. Right. Well, and go back to that annuity thing, that's a Pro 3 level. What's Pro 3? $2,500 a month? Um, that would be 5000 5, 5000 mm -hmm. a month? Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I just want to point that out. So you could save $100,000 or you could get to a Pro 3 level sharing the products. And remember, you're leveraging that. It's not all you. 
right. to, to get the equivalent as if you had $100,000. Right. So, so we're seeking to attract people who are looking for an opportunity like this. We consider ourselves more educators than salesmen. We are out to attract those who are of like mind and see if this is a fit for them. And the training tools we have, Michael, are phenomenal. And we'll get a little bit more into this as we wrap this our time up today. But we don't want to leave you without information that if you are looking for a business opportunity like this, um, you know, give a chance to consider this. Yeah. So just real quick, I know it said you, you share the products, they send you a thank you check. For those that are more familiar, they do have where you get paid weekly for certain activities and monthly for certain mm -hmm. other activities on various levels. And really, again, don't dwell on this, but if somebody wanted to see a quick overview of this, if they knew what they were looking at, they would understand this slide. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's not really... It's for later. It's, once for, it's for later, yeah, mm -hmm. once, once you're a little further along. So uh, in, in summary here, where it just really comes down to three health questions and three business questions. So think about this now for your health. If you're not going to use this for your health, what are you going to do? Do you, do you have something better? And I'm going to say this, and I mean this sincerely. If you have something better, call me. <laughs> if you have something that has 25 studies on PubMed by major universities, I want to know about it. Mm -hmm. If you have something that the company says is great, I'm, I'm still a little interested, but not so much, really. Mm -hmm. So if not this for your health, then what? Mm -hmm. And from a business standpoint, for your digging your well, for those, hope, hopefully that moment will never come for you. But if it does, what will you have to buffer the loss of income, whether it's mm -hmm. from a job being lost or a sickness? Uh, and, and if something else a better fit for you, by all means do that, whether it's this or something else, please consider something mm -hmm. that's important for you. Mm -hmm. And then the next question I have is, if you're not going to do this now, um, when might you do it? And both with regards to your health, when's the best time to start improving your health? Well, most people would say, I would say, when people ask me, I'd say 20 years ago. <laughs> Be because, you know, people often come to me, I'm 63 years old now, and I look at my peers and they say, Mike, can you help me? I say, yeah, call mm -hmm. me 20 years ago. I think I could do you some good. <laughs> I can do you some good now. I could have done you a lot more mm -hmm. good 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So obviously we can't go back in, into the past and change our health then, but we can change it now. Uh, one of my clients always has a great saying that I love. He says, when you know better, you do better. Mm. Hopefully, as a result of this presentation, mm -hmm. you know better. You know that supplements are not just hype. You mm -hmm. know there's real science behind mm -hmm. them. And you know that, okay, now that you know better, you can do better. Uh, I'm kind of a do-it-now kind of guy. but um, And sometimes people need to plan a little bit. But, but consider that component as well. And then the third component is if, if you're not going to take responsibility for your health, then who will? And and I know some people say, well, you know, that's my doctor's job. I had a brother-in-law who was like, you know, I'm sick and it's the doctor's job to fix me. And if I oh have a symptom, he's got to give me a drug or do a surgery. And he was comfortable with that model. Hmm. And for, for that type of person, if you're that person, I totally respect that. And I understand that's where your comfort zone is. That's fine. Um. But it's just not a fit for me. So I still respect other people's thoughts. But if you're not going to take care of it with regards to business, same thing. Then who? Are you depending on Social Security? Hmm. Um, and that's a little iffy, isn't it, still? I think so. I think so. It's a little iffy. And do you have a, a rich Uncle Fred who's going to, you know, live you a million dollars? <laughs> Even that, you might think, yeah, I do have a rich Uncle Fred. How did you know? But what you didn't anticipate was that he was going to be alive for five years in a nursing home. Mm -hmm. Good point. And that million dollars is suddenly enough to pay for a very attractive coffin from Costco. Yes. yes. So <laughs> you just don't, you, we just don't know. Right. So, so these are questions whether they make sense to you with regards to your health and this company's products or another company, 
whether it makes sense with regards to this business or other business thoughts, I, I really think it would be valuable to, to spend a little time pondering those. Mm. And if, if what we have to offer is a fit for you, wonderful. We'd be glad to have you. So. What do we have to do to get started? Um, we would suggest you get back to the person who invited you to this presentation. Michael and I sincerely hope that you have found this information something that's inspirational, that you will be able to make better choices based on this information. I know in my own world, I have said, for things to change, I have to change. For things to get better, I have to get better. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So thank you for the time that you've taken to listen to this tonight. Yes, thank you so much. And thank you, Linda. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Getting your...